Imagine the cliché of the tortured artist, and you might think of Egon Schiele. Those bodies of his, convulsed, isolated, and dismembered. But there's a lot more to Schiele, as this new exhibition at the Courtauld makes clear. In 1906, when he was just 16, Schiele went to Vienna to train as an artist. Four years later, he was punching his way out of the cocoon and assaulting viewers with violently anti-classical depictions of naked bodies. It was when he was obsessively scrutinising his own body that Schiele was able to go beyond the limits of self-portraiture. That's exactly what he does in this series he produced in 1910. Through line and colour, Schiele evokes various states of bodily deprivation. This is a body racked by poverty. It's defiantly anti-heroic and anti-bourgeois. This is an adolescent nihilism. This is a study of the body as a temporary vessel, a strange, mysterious, fascinating container to which he seems to doubt his attachment. His compulsive study of the human body and all of its ugliness, frailty and absurdity obsessed him for the rest of his short life. There's another side to Shida that's proved troubling, and this exhibition doesn't shy away from it. It's his voyeuristic studies of the female body. There's nothing nude or idealised about the women here. They're brazenly naked, and in some cases, like this one, the model exposes her sex, and Sheila takes a fetishistic delight in painting it a vivid, unsubtle red. Some of these figures defy the passive nude and assume sexually assertive roles. Others are rendered disturbingly anonymous with their heads cropped. The line between art and pornography is deliberately blurred. It's no coincidence that his first explicit drawings came at a time when porn was declared illegal. Things get murkier though when it comes to his studies of underage models. To find out more, I spoke to the show's curator, Dr Barnaby Wright. I think for many people, the provocative character of Sheila's nudes really meets its most sort of disturbing edge with images like this work of a prepubescent girl known as the sick girl. She's clearly uh, ill and, uh, and almost deathly in the way that he's treated her. And I think although uh, people do find that image uncomfortable, and, and rightly so, for Sheila it was another example of him exploring various associations between sexuality, love, life and death. These were urgent concerns for him, as for many in Vienna at this time, particularly the association between children and mortality. His own upbringing was one absolutely overshadowed by uh, the death of his younger sister, by his mother's numerous stillbirths and miscarriages. So for him, the equation between uh, life and death, pregnancy, sexuality and desire were both very personal but very urgent concerns of the period. This exhibition will leave you feeling conflicted about the artist's intentions, but not about his technique. His figures are wild but contained, like feral cats with blank, watchful eyes. They pull you in by the teeth and don't let go. It's his use of line that does it. Whether it's a piece of chalk or pencil, you can feel it digging into the paper, carving out bones, pausing only to obsess over the intricacies of body hair. It's as if his life force is being frantically poured out onto the cheap wrapping paper he often used as a surface. Sheila died at 28, but that line has immortalised him. It carries the weight and weightlessness of a rebellious spirit.